Hello, this is Sean Padgett here with another Library Minute. Today we're going to talk about everything you need to know about Easy Proxy for off-campus resource access. So first and foremost, what is Easy Proxy and why should you care? See, most of our subscription resources are IP address verified, which means that when you try to use them, they check to make sure your IP address is one that's found on Taft's campus. Let's go ahead and put a student on campus. And if that student wants to access the subscription database, the database then looks back and says, oh yeah, I see you're on Taft's campus, you're on the list, and passes information back. But what happens if we move that student off campus? The student tries to access the database, the database looks back, sees the student is not on campus, says, uh-uh, I don't recognize your location, and will not pass the information back. This is where Easy Proxy comes in. The student accesses the proxy server link, which then passes the request onto the database. The database looks back, just sees the proxy server on campus, says, yep, you're on the list, passes information back to the proxy server, and back to the student pretty darn neat, huh? But I can hear you ask, will using the easy proxy link cause problems for on-campus users? Short answer, no. Long answer, no. Okay, detailed answer. Here we go, more diagrams. If the student is actually trying to use the proxy link on campus, the proxy server looks as, oh hey student, you're already on campus, you don't need me, and lets the student continue straight on to the database and gets out of the way. The database sees the students on campus, says, yep, you're on the list, and passes things right back. It's an excellent system, and I'm really happy we have it. Okay, on to part two. How do you make an easy proxy link? First thing, head to the library homepage, library.tafschool.org. Once you're on the home page, take a look on the right hand side, scroll down, and we've actually got a whole section for teachers. So where it says click here, click here. And on the left, there's a created proxy link for off-campus access to on-campus resources. And here is the link generator. Now you want to be careful about where you get the URL that you actually feed into the link generator. The URL you find in the address bar in your browser often has a lot of information about your session, your login, etc., and may not lead back to the resource you intend. You want to look for a permanent link, and unfortunately, not every database vendor puts them in the same place. I wish they did. In ABC Clio's databases, there's a link at the top of the page that says Cite, and when you click there as part of the citation, you can copy and paste the URL. EBSCO databases. There, they actually have something called permalink on the right hand side. If you click there, the correct link will pop up at the top of the page, allowing you to copy and paste it. Next up is Gale. Gale has a whole bunch of really useful databases we subscribe to, and they're wonderful in that there's actually a link at the top of the page called Get Link, and that gives you access to the URL to copy and paste. And JSTOR. JSTOR actually puts their link on the left hand side and they call it a stable URL, probably because permalink was trademarked. And last but certainly not least, we have ProQuest. Now we get a lot of our newspaper databases through ProQuest, and you can access the URL both through the link to get to the citation, but also if you click on the three dots for all options, they also show the link right up at the top. Now once you have your URL, all you need to do is go back to the Easy Proxy link generator, paste it in, and then hit view link. And if you take a look at the URL it makes, you can see there's your original URL, and on the left is just the things they put in front so it'll go through the proxy server. And I'm sure you're asking yourself right now, when should I actually use the Easy Proxy links? You want to generate a link using Easy Proxy anytime you're linking to content in one of our databases or linking to one of the databases themselves and are giving that link to either faculty members or students who may not be located on campus. So for this year, best practice may be to simply use Easy Proxy anytime you link to any of those aforementioned items. Thank you so much for your time and attention. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to reach out. Have a great day.